stuck in this creepy old cabin for a weekend with this? Yep. So you decided to pick up Cheryl Williams. Cheryl has a very good kit for a support character and all around she's very versatile. Her ability Healing Touch allows her to lay down an aura that heals anyone standing inside of it. And this ability is so clutch when it comes to objectives or just not wanting to waste any heals if you got caught lacking. Her second ability is called Cola Coaster and this allows you to carry an extra shrimp cola and you'll start to match with it. Although this doesn't seem like a big deal, it really is because if you level up in your, um, in your skill tree, it will allow you to carry up to 7 colas and yeah, that's a lot of colas. And if you level up your skill tree just enough, you'll even be able to start the match with 4 of them. Her next ability is called Contact Courage and this makes it so when you drink a shrimp cola, it not only reduces your fear, but it also reduces your teammates fear. But keep in mind, this only reduces the fear of teammates who are nearby. So if you're going to use this, make sure you're at least around a teammate. This also applies to her final ability, which is contact healing. And this allows you to heal your nearby teammates when you drink a Shem Cola. Now, when playing a Cheryl, you always want to keep an eye on your teammates health and make sure you're trying to heal them up, but also using your abilities in the most efficient way possible. Cheryl's power really shines when it comes to doing main objectives, such as collecting the pages, collecting the dagger, defending the pages or the fight against the dark ones because when you're doing these things you're often going to be nearby all of your teammates so whenever you heal whenever you drop down your healing zone your teammates are always going to be passively healing and also just getting all the damage in and defending everything and in order to keep yourself and your teammates in the fight you're going to need a lot of heals and a lot of amulets what i like to do is when a demon is at his weakest which is when the match first starts Venture off on your own and try to find heals as fast as possible while being safe. This can be very dangerous because if the demon finds you first then he's going to possibly try to kill you because he knows there's no one else nearby to save you. But if you're good enough you'll be able to get yourself out of the sticky situations and the payoff will be great. Once you max out on all your heals and you possibly find a good weapon you could head back to your teammates and stick to them like glue. Now anyone could play a support class, but not everyone can play a support class at its maximum potential. What do you mean by that? Now when you play as a support class, you always want to have that mindset that if any of my teammates go down, it's my fault. And yeah, it's a hard pill to swallow, but it's true. So you're often going to be struggling with, should I heal now or should I heal for later? Should I heal this one person or should I wait and heal the whole team? A majority of the time, the answer is going to be do its best to help the team. So sometimes healing yourself or using a heal just to heal two people won't be the play. The play will be just to wait until everyone's kind of low and then use it. Sure, someone might go down and obviously that's not the goal like I just said, but it'll be two steps back for three steps forward. Now when the game goes on, players are obviously going to start getting better and a demon's going to realize that the support class is going to be his main priority to take out. Which means, yeah, you have the pill to swallow that if anyone on your team dies, it's your fault. But your teammates have the pill to swallow that if you die, it's their fault. Basically, what I'm saying is if everyone on your team takes care of each other, you'll almost be literally unstoppable. Now, obviously, this doesn't happen often, but in a perfect world, your teammates will be smart enough to drop you heals because they know it'll benefit the team more than just one person. And that's in the perfect world. <laughs> And it obviously doesn't happen a lot, but there's some people out there who do understand that. Even in her skill tree, she has so many good abilities. There's even an ability where it decreases the amount of time objectives takes. And that can literally be game changing. So yeah, she has a lot of things going for her when it even comes to melee or range. Obviously healing, fear, reviving. It all comes down to you just leveling her up and playing her the best that she can be played now cheryl i think she is literally s tier when it comes to all the characters in the game she's literally she's very hard to kill if you play her correctly like there's so many times i went off on my own and then a guy found me first and he was struggling to kill me because i kept healing over and over again and i eventually made it back to my team and that's pretty much all i have to say about her honestly um 
If you like to hear me go really into depth and really go into depth about her skill tree, just leave a like, let me know in the comments, and I will, because she's literally the only one I've been playing, <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I know almost everything about her, so let me know, guys. So make sure to leave a like, let me know who you've been liking the most in the comments, and possibly I'll try to pick them up, play them, maybe even make a video about them. But until now, I will see you guys later.